Hi, today we're going to talk about how to fix a common problem with computers. This is the Vostor 1500. Now, when you use a computer a lot, you'll notice that your screen starts getting a little bit of wobble to it. You know, it used to be when you brought it up, it would just stay in that one position. You're, gonna, you're no, starting to notice that, you know, you push it and it moves a little bit when you do so. Now, there are three problems that can really cause. The first one is the hinge itself that holds the screen can actually get loose to some extent. There's not a really good way to fix that except to buy a new hinge from Dell. There are two other ways that are a lot easier to solve. The first and the easiest is if the attachments to the screen are loose. So I'm going to unplug it and take out the battery just to get out of the way. Um, this screen has four screws basically holding the hinges on that we can get to really easily. There's one here, one here, one here, and one here. So you're going to just want to make sure all of them are nice and snug. If you make sure they're tight and your screen still wobbles, it's time to go to the next step. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is open it up and pop off the bezel. So I just wedge my flathead screwdriver under the bezel and if my screen is tilted far enough back, it'll pop up like this. There are rubber pads and little plastic bits in here that both cushion it and uh, conceal some screws on the screen. So we're going to peel those off carefully, making sure you don't lose any of the adhesive. So we've got all the screws exposed now, so I'm going to remove those. And this is the point at which you're going to start voiding your warranty. Now we've got the screws removed, but this thing doesn't come apart still. It's not only screwed together, but it's actually snapped together. It's a real pain. So usually I find it's easiest to start at a corner and sort of pry. I've got the top edge done, and I've got both sides. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to remove the screen after all, which is a pain, but I'll show you how to do that real quick. So, there are two things that attach to the screen. There's one here, and there's one here. Uh, this one happens to have a grounding screw attached to it, so you'll need to get your screwdriver and attach the grounding screw. Um, I'm having some trouble due to my big fingers uh, getting this one out, so I'm going to prop up the keyboard. Okay, now that's pulled off, and again, when you're pulling those, you want to be careful to not snap any of the little wires to this hatch. The other thing here is this bundle of antenna cables. This is the really exciting part. So not only have I had to pop up those cables, but now I have to flip this whole unit over, which now is the bezel partially undone, so that makes it a little harder. I'm going to flip it over remove the card cover, detach all of the antennas, remove the ones that are in this uh, sheath from there, and prepare them to be pulled through the hole. Now you should be able to just pull those guys straight up like that. Now you've got all the antennas out. Now we can detach those screws. I'm sorry you can't see. I need to have this on my lap for a second. So, now the screen itself is free. I just need to guide these cables out of their little track here, their channel. And we've got this free. So we've got a computer base and a computer screen. I now have clearer access to the area I need to have.
Now the trick down on the bottom here is to sort of pull downwards. So I've got this part off now, it's fully intact. Great. And you can see where all the cable bundles go. The screws we're really interested in are right here. You can see the hinge itself. If your hinge is loose, it should be really easy to replace uh, because it's just a separate unit. All you have to do is unscrew it and the hinge is completely detached and you can drop in a new one. So you can see how this hinge is actually wiggling a bit here. So I'm going to tighten these screws down. If I had Loctite, I would want to unscrew this and put a drop of Loctite tight on the screw and screw it back in on both of them. Now, I tighten it up and it's pretty tight again. This one is even looser than the other. Now, these are totally tight and I can put the whole machine back together. And we're going to start reattaching it. Putting snaps back together is much easier than taking them apart. Pretty much it's just a matter of pushing down. Okay, that is back together now. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to screw the whole thing together before I bother um, reattaching it or to the base of the computer because it'll make my life easier. Those screws are back in tightly now, so you just need to stick your little pads back in. Those are all back on there now. So next, the last step is to put it all back together. Firstly, I'm going to stick the antenna cables back through their channel to the bottom of the computer because they're going to be the hardest to do later. Now I've got those far enough in that they're going to stay there well enough for now. So I've got the screen on in a basic sort of fashion. I'm going to run this cable back through its channel. Find that little grounding screw. Screw it back in. Reattach this cable. Fortunately, with screens, it's pretty easy to remember if you've done something wrong because it doesn't turn on. It's a pretty good sign, usually. That's down. Now, I'm going to tilt the screen down. So it's a little, it won't fall out quite as easily. Grab my screwdriver and a screw and reattach the hinges. Pull these cables up all the way through. Finish screwing this on, making sure it's nice and tight. I'm going to find the cables that I need to reattach. Uh, I'm in this computer, white is white and black are the primary wireless cables. But I also have a secondary wireless card, which I've installed. If you want to see me do that a little bit better, you can watch the other video. So those cables are all installed and tucked away, so I can put this panel back on. That's back. The screen is fully attached. It's got all of its cables. We just need to screw the keyboard back down. Put the antenna cables back in their channel so that the bezel will go back down. Now we've got the whole computer back together, assuming I haven't forgotten any screws. And with any luck, when we pop the battery back in and power it up, the screen will be working. And you can see already it wiggles less. And we've got a fully working screen that doesn't wiggle. Thank you very much for watching.